all right guys welcome back and in this video before we get to any of the learning i need to tell you a story so last week what happened is i walked into my favorite coffee shop and i ordered a bologna sandwich like i always do and i brought it to my table i was enjoying it popped open my laptop and started checking my email and i looked to the left of me and there's this cute looking college girl i mean she was adorable and i start thinking I wonder what she's working on. Probably a homework assignment. You know these college girls always working on something. And she looks at me and she smiles a little bit and gives me a little wave. And then it just clicked. I was like, oh, all right. I see what's going on here. I see what you're up to. See, what happened is whenever I connected to the Wi-Fi, I thought I was connecting to the coffee shop. But what she was doing is she set up her laptop is a fake access point so I was actually connecting to her so I thought I was just connecting to the coffee shop but I was actually sending all of my data to her so I got up I walked towards her I grabbed her laptop and I whipped it against the wall and well it actually turns out that she was just working on a homework assignment so I had to pay for her laptop but nonetheless not important the thing is she could have been hacking me by setting up a fake access point and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how. So what she would have needed to do first is in order to turn a device like a laptop or a regular computer into an access point what she would have done is she would have installed two packages so apt-get install and the first one is DNS MASQ so DNS mask. Now what this is is this is a package that pretty much allows you to easily edit DNS in DHCP settings. Now we know that DNS is needed whenever you want to translate domain names into IP addresses and DHCP is needed because whenever you're pretty much turning your computer into a temporary router that people can connect to you need to start dishing out IP addresses for each of your clients. So whenever you have this installed you can assign IP addresses to anyone that connects. Now another thing that she was probably thinking about installing is something called host apd now i already have these installed on my computer so that's why they ran real quick but you would have to write yes or just type y and hit enter and you'd be good but the second package allows you to configure your own personal computer such as a laptop as an access point and it also gives you some other options so you can actually set up like a password on it and like WPA encryption if you want but those are the two packages that you need so after this what she would have done is she would have edited her DNS mask file and these are just her basic um, DNS settings so again this covers all of your DNS and DHCP so she probably would have used leafpad so let's go ahead and type that in there and it would have been an ETC DNS MASQ.conf, your configuration file. Now in here, let me change my settings. Font, and I'll bump this up to 14 so you guys can see. And all right. So inside here, the first thing is for your interface, AT0. Now, if you guys are like, all right, I know what my interface is all ETH0, WLAN0, maybe WLAN0MON, what the heck is this? Well, later on, I'm going to be showing you guys a tool called Airbase. And what this does is it creates this virtual interface and it's AT0. So depending on what tool you use, this may change. But in this example, I know that, I mean, always adjust this so you guys can see. I know that the interface is going to be called AT0. So another thing you do whenever you create a fake access point, and I say fake access point, but it's really not a fake access point. It's a real access point. It's just kind of a honeypot in a way because people think that, you know, they don't know that it's coming from your laptop. They might think it's from some company or someone more reputable than you. So you need to have a DHCP range. Now what this is, is it's a range of IP addresses that you're going to dish out whenever people connect to your network. Now my actual um, IP address starts with 192.168, yada, 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 but our own network, we don't want to hand out IP addresses that are going to clash with it. So I'm just going to go 10.0.0.10. .0 .0 .10. 
So we're going to be in the 10.0.0 network and this is going to be the first IP address that I'm going to hand out. So there's my first one and of course you write your last one so 10.0.0.250 why not. So we can hand out this many IP addresses so we can pretty much uh, fool a lot of people or she would have. I know her plan. She, she was thinking about it even if I couldn't prove it. All right. Now this last thing is whenever we assign these IP addresses, how long are we going to lease them for? And we'll just do 12 hours. Why the heck not? Now, after this, we have two other settings. The first one is DHCP option three. Now, let me type this. So 0 0.1 and let me just type this other one because I get confused if I type and talk at the same time. All right. So these two settings in this file right here, DHCP option three and DHCP option six, this one right here is going to be the default gateway. In other words, the router. And we're going to pretend that our laptop is the router. So it's just whatever the IP address is of that. And this other one is going to be the IP address of the DNS server. So we're going to make a fake host file. And this is going to be the DNS address of that. And if you guys notice, all of these, they can just run from the access point to router. You don't need to set up like an entirely different server. This isn't like, you know, a big company. It's just a little uh, example. So all of this is going to be golden. And also, whenever you just, you know, buy uh, some internet service from whatever company and they give you that router, that's how it's set up. All of your DHCP, all of your DNS settings are actually on that router. So nothing new there. And some other cool things that you guys may find handy is you can also specify another server. So this is another DNS server because we're going to write our own host file. And if it can't find in that, then it may use the internet service providers default ones, or you can pass it in this one, whatever. And you may want to log queries and also log DHCP. And this is just for kind of analysis. If you want to see what people are doing, then you can do that. But make sure you have at least these. So this is going to set up the configuration file, which says, OK, whenever we make our fake access point, these are the IP addresses we're going to hand out. And all the other settings, we're just going to run right from here. So make sure you save that in the proper location. And boom, good to go. Now, after this, what we are going to do is remember, we said that that DNS server was on our own computer right here. So we need to create a fake host file. So I'm just called this fake host uh, dot conf and hit enter and all right. So I know that the IP address of the new boston.com is 54.186.250.79. So if you guys want to host a fake website on your own personal laptop then you can do that but what if you wanted people to whoever were searching for like uh, bucky's bacon.com just redirect them to the new boston.com well then this is what you could do and again it doesn't matter what websites or ip addresses are in your host file so let me just go like bucky's bacon and bucky's tuna so now whenever a client who connects would be searching in buckysbacon.com instead of going to the real buckysbacon.com server it would actually redirect them to the new boston.com and she was probably thinking about doing this with my gmail or my bank account because i saw that look in her eye i did not trust that girl so you know had to smash her laptop but didn't get hacked though that's the important thing so i'm going to save this set up your fake host file however you want and then that's taken care of too this is almost too easy so let me clear out of here and we pretty much have all of our settings, our configuration files taken care of. 